Welcome to episode eight of the Slap Sharks podcast. I'm joined with a new guest today, Rajdeep. How are you doing today, Rajdeep? Good yourself. Not bad, not bad. Why don't you give everybody a little uh, intro into who is Rajdeep and how are you associated with Slap Sharks? All right. Uh, well, it kind of goes back to COVID times, and that's where uh, I came across Karn. Well, actually, wait, let me take a step back. COVID happened. I got into the hobby of collecting cards because I had nothing else better to do. Yeah. Uh, started low end, ten twenty dollar cards. The first card that I got that I purchased was a PSA ten Weedle, first <laughs> edition. Oh, from like the original set. From the original set, oh, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. First edition Weedle PSA ten. And uh, right when I got it, I listed back on uh, eBay for a ridiculous amount price. Like I think it was like four hundred fifty dollars. Bought right. it for like fifty, put it up for four hundred fifty dollars, and within I think four or five weeks, it was sold. And I was like, "Who the hell bought a four hundred fifty dollar card?" <laughs> yeah. And then I started looking more into what was happening in the market, and uh, this is where pick Pokemon was starting to pick up. Um, and then all of a sudden, I wanted to collect the whole one hundred fifty one Pokemon cards from the base set. Mm. And uh, and then reached out to Karn. He was selling uh, the Shadowless Charizard because the first edition was too expensive. So I went one level down. Mm. I bought the Shadowless Charizard from Karn. And that's when I first initially met Karn. And that's kind of where it all started. Stayed in touch with him. I ended up buying a shit ton of stuff through the months and years after that. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, and everything else was kind of history after that. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, then you started working with us a little bit. Uh, you just come. I remember I just came in the office one day and you were sitting there and you were just on the computer and I was like, oh, uh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> I, was just, I, I, I think Karn just messaged me the day before and he's like, hey, do you want to help out for a little bit? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, yeah. I didn't really talk about anything else. I just came in and told me, hey, this, this is what you got to do. You got to list the cards. Yeah. And I already kind of knew what I was doing. And yeah, yeah. I think that's why Karn invited me in to kind of help him out. So, uh, And then I came in one week, didn't come back for another couple of weeks, needed help again, came mm-hmm. came back. And then he asked me if I knew anyone else that might have been that might be interested in working part time and actually get paid. Yeah. Because at that time I was just kind of helping out. Like, yeah. I wasn't I wasn't too keen about making money, right? Um, he's like, hey, do you know anyone that would want to work here and make money? I was like, hey, uh, me. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And because yeah, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, I had some spare time and uh, and yeah, because my other job kind of gives me a bit bit of a flexibility to kind of mm-hmm. do what I want to do at my own pace. So Slap Sharks kind of integrated perfectly into my lifestyle yeah and we've taken advantage of the other job of yours too right because what is that why don't you tell everybody what your other job is yeah so uh, i founded kingsguard security back Mm -hmm. in 2015 Mm -hmm. um and uh i've got a good team that kind of handles most of the work so i'm not as involved uh and so for that reason i have more time to kind of do other things that i enjoy working here spending time with the family um being part of the hobby but now we got your expertise on security too. We have everything all set up, all integrated. Now we got that. We had that huge Megatron thing outside. We call it a Megatron, but it's a. What is that thing? What was it, that thing? It's, it's basically a portable surveillance system. Yeah. So it's basically self-sufficient. It runs by itself. It has a, a battery, solar panels. It has a backup generator in case there's no solar and then there's no battery left. Mm-hmm. Then the generator kicks in and keeps it running. Um, continuously has built-in Wi-Fi tracker GPS everything yeah. so and it's got like six cameras on that thing and it goes up so high that thing was crazy man six cameras uh, and I think it goes up around 40 feet in the air 40 feet yeah yeah so yeah. it's mainly for commercial industrial use yeah but uh, it, it wasn't being rented out so it was yeah. parked out here yeah. in front yeah for the longest time <laughs> yeah so we got yeah. to take advantage of that that was really cool man um, yeah so the King's Guard is um, that that like is such a completely different like life, like security. Yeah, than, than, it's completely than, different than, than, than the hobby stuff. itself. The yes, hobby it's stuff, a, right? A complete one eighty <laughs> difference. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I've been I've been doing security for since two thousand nine, and ever since I was in university, started doing security for the Leafs, Raptors, mm. uh, City of Brampton, Sheridan College. Uh, so I, uh, industry is my expertise, mm-hmm. and uh, it's my bread and butter. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're good at it too. Yeah, you also set, set up the whole uh, s- system for us so we could like monitor everything on the computer. Yeah, we've yeah we added the cameras the uh, camera. up front yeah. and uh, with the like recognition thing. It's like like you know if if someone keeps going over and over again and like yeah exactly yeah. yeah. Um, one thing on top of that is uh, we can also blacklist people. So <laughs> like if there's someone that's wanted in the industry, we can actually kind of put their face in our in the cloud, I guess. Mm-hmm. And then if our cameras are set up anywhere and that person comes up, mm-hmm. we'll get notified. Hey, this person was blacklisted. At this event on this day, mm-hmm. he's a potential threat, and oh. then that can kind of wow help us out down the road. That's actually really cool. I, yeah. I didn't I didn't think about it that way, but that's that would be helpful for the industry for like you know 
if there's like a situation, unfortunately, where someone's stuff gets stolen at a show or something. That's pretty much exactly yeah. why you would want someone like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then if they're like faces on the camera and they're recognized then. Yeah. Wow. It's called person of interest. It's not facial recognition. It's called like person of interest. So okay. that's the term to use. The term. Well, that's the term used in the system, the system itself. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's crazy, yeah. man. There's, there's like, uh, I don't know, there's some stuff been going on recently. Uh, I don't know if you've the been... Dallas, uh, yeah, the Dallas... Yeah. The $2 million card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of where <coughs> the initial idea, and I started pitching it to Corn. I'm like, you know, we should start setting this up at shows. Um, and uh, a couple of people reached out. We've uh, we've done a trial period or trial pilot program mm -hmm. um, at small local shows, and we've had it set up um, just to see how it works out. And, and I think it might just kind of kick off. So we'll see how it goes. You're talking about the baby Megatron, right? That yeah, there's, yeah, yeah, there's, a, that's, yeah, the, 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 the Megatron, that's for outdoors, it's that's a, for commercial use. Yeah. And then we built a mini Megatron or yeah. <laughs> Megatron's kid yeah. uh, for indoors yeah. for, uh, and there's only one or two cameras on that. Yeah. So well, that's enough though, right? Yeah. And those things you could deploy, basically, you could probably deploy that anywhere in a show, like on different corners, Pretty behind much, yeah. a booth, like in some... Pretty much, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Uh, so it's again, that's also self-sufficient. Uh, it comes on a pole. It's just plug and play. Uh, that's the only th the only thing that doesn't have is a battery. solar panel. Bat yeah. or, or has battery, but not enough to kind of keep it running. So it just needs to be plugged in, but it has built-in Wi-Fi. Okay. So okay, so that's one. That one, yeah, because you're indoors, so you not really the solar panel wouldn't really do. It, it wouldn't do anything. So okay. it's, yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah. Wow, that's cool, man. That's I think we should really look into that to, for like the next shows and stuff and see because uh, that that would. At least the main thing is the deterrent, right? If yeah. You, no one's going to be stealing stuff if their faces are going to be on exactly. the camera. And that's what maybe. security's all about. No one wants yeah. to kind of get involved and get caught. Yeah. They want to go where, where they can do what they want to do and get out. If mm -hmm. they know there's security present and security's watching you or mm -hmm. security's just in the area, they're going to go to the next house over and, yeah. and do what they want to do. They, yeah. don't want to get, they don't want to get caught. So that's why the next house got to have that too. Exactly. <laughs> and then, just, no and then the go. one after that and yeah. the one after that yeah. and then just exactly. scare them away completely. S secure everything. Uh, cool, man. Um, your office at Kingsguard, you have a bit of a, a like a little Leafs. Yeah. Leafs shrine, I'm going to call it. Leafs, uh, like museum in the making. I don't know. You got kind of, yeah. Memorabilia and stuff a little that you're bit, stacking yeah. up. Yeah. Um, Slab trucks 2.0 maybe or <laughs> 1.5. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the office is for Kingsguard, mm -hmm. um, but there's not foot traffic that continuously comes in there. Uh, so I kind of made it my man cave because I don't have one at home. Yeah. So I've turned everything I wanted in my house in my office. Um, so I've got uh, a wallpaper of uh, Austin Matthews. I've got Austin Matthews uh, 2022 hockey stick signed and inscribed. Mm. Mm. Um, what else do I have? I've got a jersey of him. Uh, someone drew or did a painting of Austin Matthews on the jersey itself. So I've got that. Oh, I, didn't see, I haven't seen that one. You no, seen no, that no, one? no, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, so it's, basi so, yeah so it's basically an Austin Matthews jersey. Um, and then Austin Matthews painted on the background, oh. uh, on the back of the jersey. Oh, that's cool. And that's framed. <laughs> um, I've got that. I've got an uncut sheet of the Young Guns from 2016. Mm. So I've got that. Uh, the list goes on. Like, yeah. So, okay. So I, I I'm going to what I have. It's, it's more of a Matthew shrine than, than just a leaf shrine, right? Because it's, it's, it's all Matthew stuff, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess you can call it that. It's more Matthews than anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was... Uh, so you couldn't make it to FanFest this year. No. Fan, uh, at the Fanatics Fan Fest in New York. But Karn and I went, but yeah. Chris went too, actually. We all went up there, and Matthews was there. That's like, yeah. This is like his first ever, like, first uh, ever f appearance. signing appearance, yeah. right? Public appearance. Public, I think, yeah. He's, yeah, I'm sure he's, he's done, done signing, private but yeah, stuff, yeah. But yeah but public one for, for A sure. public one. And so um, we took some of your stuff because you wanted to get some stuff autographed yeah. by him, right? I think I have something here um, that we did. Oh, a couple of things here, actually, that we did for that uh, we did. I mean, this is some cool stuff. Like, this was such a good it was so, idea. It was so hard to pick what I wanted yeah. to send out because I've just. Because the first, first one I want to do is just, we'll do this one first right here. And for anybody who knows, that is a Young Gun Exclusives, um, um, Austin Matthews Young Gun Exclusives. Yeah. And those don't come signed ever. Never. <laughs> no. And I think it's pop one. And I don't think there's... There's nobody else that did that, huh? Exclusive. So, I mean, it's already a limited card. Yeah. And now you're the one, you got the one that we signed. So we got it signed there yeah. in person. I handed him this card, actually. Okay. I, was, yeah. I was like, hey, yo, bro, can you sign this? <laughs> did and he say anything about the card? Or no, he no, just signed no, he just signed. He he's no super chill, man. He was like, he, I, he'd been there for a long time. Uh, he was two hours late to the signing because so many people wanted to take photos. He with was him. two hours late. Like he wasn't. He wasn't late. He oh, was because okay. he had to. Be, there was two separate things. There was the photos you could buy, yeah. or you could buy for autographs. Right. And so many people were buying photos that he got delayed because he was just constantly okay, taking okay. photos, and he was just super chill about it. Came like an hour and a half, two hours late for the signing because of that. And then he was still chill, man. He was mm -hmm. like super cool. I was, I was actually like, 
dang, this guy's got like, uh, patience. he's got that like you know this this patience about him. Like yeah. he was most a couple of the athletes they were just like getting upset and, yeah. or whatever because the lineups were too crazy. But he was just he was just trucking along. He was just being himself, like you know being nice. Yeah. And cordial I saw a couple everybody. of videos and it seemed like he pretty pretty down to earth guy. Yeah, yeah. And that's what it seems like. Obviously, you didn't get much opportunity to like chat okay. with him too yeah, exactly. much just a little bit like hey can you inscribe this can you do this and stuff or whatever but he seems like a super chill dude yeah anyways back to the card though yep you uh so you got this exclusive you've been holding on to this for a while now right uh i think i've had the card for about a year about two years now i think two yeah. years and a year and a half two years and was your intention always to get something like this signed or was it just opportunity I'm like, the, the option to get it signed is always there you just never know when it was going to happen mm -hmm. right and then obviously when uh, fan fest decided that austin matthews was, was going to be there i was like shit, where do i get signed because i've got so many things <laughs> yeah. um i wanted to actually send more things but a it would have put a hole in my wallet yeah it's expensive. and b i think you guys would have been pissed off because you guys would have been <laughs> going in circles and just carrying big just, memorabilia around yeah, exactly frames so, and stuff yeah, yeah um <laughs> yeah so i think i just narrowed it down to like four or five things and yeah. uh yeah and then once that was done the next day i realized oh i had this and this and this i should have mm -hmm. done as well mm -hmm. but uh it's hopefully okay. there's another there'll, one there'll be another opportunity hopefully so this was that and then we got it graded right away we went straight to psa yeah. after we got it so you got that it slabbed up right away at the yep. show amazing this is a cool thing to have in your collection the next one also this one's a horizontal card so it's a little bit harder i want you to explain this card because this card here has some interesting things about it first of all this card doesn't come signed at all it doesn't no. but if we read the back of the card and it says congratulations uh, where's it? Uh, it says congratulations you received an austin matthews autographed card right <laughs> But it card, was an autograph. But it was an autograph. This right. card doesn't come with an autograph. So right. can you just explain to everybody what, what's going on here? Yeah, so there's a couple stories behind it. But uh, initially, what I, what I think the story behind the card is, initially, the card was not supposed to be signed. So the back is supposed to just have stats of, of him. Okay. Just like, yeah. And here's the stats of the card. It's not supposed to say, congratulations, here's an autograph card. Mm -hmm. So the first error is there because it does say that when it's not supposed to. Okay. And now that it says, congratulations, this is an autographed card, mm -hmm. that's a second error. Because there's no autograph on the card. Because there's no autograph. Yeah, okay. So, okay. so it's like a double yeah. double error card, I guess you can call it. And then you decided to uh, to fix that error. Yeah. <laughs> now it's officially fixed, was... but it's also still an error card because it's not supposed to be. Yeah. It's, it's not supposed to have that. It's not supposed to have a signature. Yeah. It's not supposed to have the signature, and it's not supposed to say congratulations yeah, on the back. Yeah, okay. So it's fixed, but still not fixed. But still you, an error you've card. you kind of created like another, a new card. Exactly. Created, That's also another pop but one. It, they, but it's pop. Oh, it's pop one as well. Pop one as well. And you got yours inscribed. Now, what do you? What do you? What do we get inscribed for you? You uh, said twenty two heart. Yeah. 22 rocket and uh, 60 goal, 46 assist, 106 yeah. points. Yeah, and I, I picked that inscription for the reason because it's a card from 2021. So I wanted to have it relate to that year because mm. uh, I could have gotten like Captain Poppy or mm. first or whatever, something different. Yeah. But I wanted to have it relate to the year the card was uh, uh, released. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. I think it's a cool, man. It looks so good on this. Yeah. Like uh, uh, we got so lucky. There's a guy behind us in line and he was like, like a superstar yeah. autograph guy. He had so much stuff with him. And we were like, we just had this like one little marker mm -hmm. with us. And then we, we asked him like, hey bro, like do you have another like blue marker or anything? Because we want, we were not sure. He's like, I got you. He pulled out his backpack, pull out this huge uh, uh, Ziploc bag full of markers. markers. And then we're like all organized by color and by style. Yeah. He had the, um, he had like the blue one, this one that we used at, uh, like on this one. He also had the paint one that we did. We got your puck sign too. That's yeah. right. That's another thing you had. Actually, it's over there, right there. You can grab that if you oh, want to right. actually. Um, yeah, so this is, this is a, a puck and this puck is the, um, it's a, it's a game used puck. Game it's one of his puck. goals from game five versus Tampa in 2023. Yeah. So this is like a playoff game puck, playoff which game is puck, crazy, which is also another very unique, yeah. rare it is, it is. And it's a, you, you see, we have the, like the tape, like, you know, this is an actual game use puck. Yeah. And so this marker, as you can see, is a little bit different. This yeah. one, this one was like a, the paint marker. Yeah. But it looks so good. So on, much better. So on there. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the guy behind us, he just pulled out all the stuff. And so he like hooked us up and he's like, Hey, if you're doing it on this card, you should use this one. If you're doing it on this, do this one. If you have a glossy card, do this one. And like he had everything. Oh my God. So we just got lucky that yeah. he happened to be right behind us. In and line. I think that's the same pen you guys used for the ticket I yes. have as well, yes. which I, we don't have here because it's still for grading. Yeah. Um, that's a game view or debut game. T Four goal game. Ticket stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We used, in, in we, Ottawa. Because we saw that and it looked so good. Yeah. We were like, it would look really good on the, on the, the ticket as well. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, that was 
That was a fun experience, man. Um, and thank you for allowing us, uh, giving us the opportunity to get stuff that was signed my for you. Thanks for getting it signed. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have had that stuff here. Yeah, we got a bunch of our stuff signed too, but it was just, it was nice to like, it was something, cool. something different. Something different just yeah. to be up there and interacting with Austin Matthews a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And so this all goes with your theme of your, of your, uh, pretty of much, your, yeah. I, th- I think museum. my theme is basically if something comes up for sale and, it's the only time you're going to have the opportunity to buy it. Mm-hmm. That's what I want. That's my kind of ideology. Like, like I want to buy uh, something that is never going to be seen on the market again. Yeah. And most of the stuff that I buy, I just kind of hide it. Oh, you just put it away. I yeah. just put it away and, and it never like sees the day of light. So this is, this is a, this is a rare glimpse into your collection. Huh? Pretty much. Yeah. A, we're, we won't get an update about this collection for years now. Yeah, huh? It's not going to be seen by anyone. <laughs> the cool thing about the new pucks is it actually tells you how fast the shot was going and everything. So this one was 48 kilometers an hour, seven feet from the uh, from the net wrist shot. That's kind of cool. cool thing. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> like we can just continue like going into it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let's uh, let's let's see. So that so that is your like Matthews collection. You're you're as we said, you kind of have this like Matthews museum that you're yeah. building, whatever. But you have some other stuff too that's kind of like like crazy. I, none of, nobody else in the office collects this kind of stuff. Yeah. And some of that stuff is like some Disney stuff. Not Disney, but actually Disney, we got Lorcano. We got Mr. Enchanted. Yeah. We, got, we got Derek. <laughs> Shout out, Derek. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, Simpson stuff is what yeah. I meant to say. This card right here. Um, let's just hit that. Uh, this is the Matt, Matt Groening uh, Bart Simpson sketch card. Yeah. Now this is kind of this is this is a rare this is a rare card. It's it's rare. Um, essentially, the way this card works is, you get a redemption, and as far as I know, um, it's one of the first times something like that ever ha- took place where you redeem a card for a sketch card, or you 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 send in a redemption and you get a sketch card in return. Okay. Um, and I believe this is four ninety nine. Four hundred. So there's only four hundred of them, and only a handful of them were actually redeemed. And some of them were never redeemed. And the ones that were actually sent in to get redeemed, there's a, you're not going to be able to notice it, but there's a stamp, like in bros, like the little raised. Embossed? Yeah, embossed uh, uh, stamp on it. That's how you know, oh, I see that's that. how you yeah, know yeah, the card yeah. was okay, actually okay. redeemed okay. by sending in the redemption card. So the card was just an empty canvas and you sent it in and the guy, he sketched it on there? No, no, so uh, that's, uh, so the, it's a redemption card. It mm. says, congratulations, you, you've, yeah, okay. you've got a uh, you can redeem uh, a sketch card, mm-hmm. and then you got that card in return. Mm-hmm. Um, so you don't get a blank canvas, and you send it in. He mm-hmm. sketches, sends oh, it back. Okay. You sent in the, the redemption, redemption card, and then you right. get that in return. So w- would there be any one that, of those that, the, so the that don't have the embossed on them? Yeah. So after the, the contest or the redemption period expired, mm-hmm. um, the remaining cards were just kind of given out to uh, dealers and friends and family, and oh, those I don't see. have that. The emboss. Okay. Okay. So that's the difference. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, the ones, uh, and then there's some people that are pulling uh, the redemptions till this date. Those are worth a lot as well. So that's another collector item as well. You can still send them in? Yeah. Uh, you can't send them in because... Mm. Oh, but the actual it, redemption it, itself. Yeah, the redemption yeah, itself. Yeah. Uh, um, so some, the boxes, uh, the Skybox case mm-hmm. still sells for a ton of money because people are still trying to find those redemption okay. cards itself. Is there, are, there, are there other than the Bart Simpson redemptions in there as well, or is it just, is it just the Bart Simpson? So uh, there's, uh, there's a couple. So most of them are Bart Simpsons, mm-hmm. but the first kind of handful of cards, I believe, I'm not sure if it's the first handful, but there's a handful of them um, that have Homer Simpson on them. Uh, there's only, I think, a couple, maybe one or two only, that have the full family portrait. Mm. That's Like that's the Holy Grail? Th- that's the Holy Grail, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Um, and so you are you collecting more Simpson stuff, or is it just like this one thing you found was interesting? Um, this was interesting. Uh, this came after I started collecting stickers um, of Simpsons, uh, something very low end. Um, when I collect, I collect very rare stuff, mm-hmm. but cheap rare stuff. If that makes sense. I'm not yeah. going to go after a PSA 10 Michael Jackson rookie card. Just, just expensive. Michael Jordan. You <laughs> or, what did I say? Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael <laughs> Jordan. I was, I was like, I wonder what that rookie card would look like. Yeah. Man. So, yeah. So, I'm, cheap, rare stuff is what I go after. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, um, in 1991, there's uh, packs of uh, Simpsons cards that you can collect, and each pack has a sticker in it. There's mm. only 23. Yeah, in total. I remember those. So yeah, it's very yeah, easy yeah, to yeah, collect yeah, all 23. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'll buy those and I'll collect. So you got those. a bunch of those. A bunch of those, but I'm trying to get them in PSA 10. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Because the stickers are very hard to grade. Mm-hmm. Um, I have. 
probably like two or three hundred of them and I'm kind of sending them slow like mm. 10 at a time and I've completed maybe like 50% in PSA 10. Okay. Um, and then I kind of got tired. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, sure, like, I'll, I'm sure I'll complete it yeah, eventually. eventually. Eventually, eventually. Eventually, so. Yeah. So that's another thing. So um, mm. Simpsons, uh, there's other sketch cards, Simpsons comics. Um, okay, so you got a bunch of Simpsons stuff. Yeah. Okay, so it's not just this one card. Thing. No, it's like this is one Tons of the things stuff. you collect, yeah. the Simpsons. That's I grew, cool. I grew up watching Simpsons, so that's why I'm kind of like connected to the Simpsons. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah. That's cool. So you are just like I mentioned, Derek earlier. He uh, you also do some Disney Lorcana. Yeah. You two are the you guys are probably the two biggest Lorcana guys that I know. Right. I mean, probably the biggest guys that most Lorcana people would know, right? Because you guys are really into this. He is getting more into the like um, you know playing the game playing and stuff and like that. We got a cool update that uh, me and him are going to talk about later. I don't want to spoil it yet, but um, but uh, you like the collecting side of things to, yep. the, to another level. Like yep. right now, I have these in. These D twenty three, no, not those. These, these, this whole stack right here, this whole stack right here. I don't know if you can see how many there are there, but these are all, you know, the D twenty three. That's uh, the first card. The first card. First that was kind of shown to the public. Yeah. You got Mickey's. These are intense. These are all PSA tens. Yep. Three PSA ten of the Mickey Mouse, uh, like the first D twenty three. I don't know if you guys can see that at the bottom. It's a promo one. Uh, and then you got some of the in, the uh, ho the foils. Yeah. This is the, this Corilla Deville. There's six foils in total. Only have three. There's Captain Hook and there's Robin Hood. And you're still trying to get the other uh, three foils. Eventually, right? I'll probably complete it. But yeah, there's th there's six uh, enchanted enchanted uh, promos, and then there's the uh, Mickey Mouse. And obviously, itself. the Elsa is the hardest one because that's the most expensive one. I would most say. expensive yeah, one. So yeah, so that's yeah. the one that's going to be a yeah. little bit yeah, tough. Yeah, a little bit challenging. But you collecting you're collecting that, and you're not not only just that, but you are. You're collecting stuff that people are winning at the tournaments. At the tournaments, yeah. right? So what what is this? Can you explain? Can you explain what this Let It Go card is right here? So this one uh, is um, if you make it to the top sixty four. So if you make it to the top sixty four, you get uh, the enchanted Let It Go little kind of card. Mm -hmm. um, if you make it to the top thirty two, then you get Cinderella, which is another enchanted. So enchanted you, one. So you're you said earlier that you like the rare stuff. Yeah. And you like the cheap rare stuff, but this is not cheap rare stuff anymore. This is just rare stuff. This is <laughs> expensive rare stuff. rare stuff now, right? Still kind of on the low end, but uh, the next one after that would be a little too high end. Uh, Rapunzel, that's uh, top 16, 64, 32, 16, yeah. 16. So that, that's, that's top 16. You get a Rapunzel? You get a Rapunzel, and then uh, the one after that is the Gold Mickey. Uh, that's the serial number no, 500. I think the Rapunzel is a playmat, though. I don't think it's a, it's a card. No, there's a card, too. The, you get a card with a playmat? Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. That's, that's what else is a check. Yeah. And. Like this is just this is just me bring, showing all this stuff because this is like you collecting some of the highest stuff and then you have a box that you brought in as well. Yeah, I got a box too. Bring that. Can you bring that box out? <clears throat> I don't know how we're gonna be able to show this. We could just show it to the camera like this. Actually, you hold it up. Look at that. What what, what is this? What is this right here? So it's essentially, this is the the twenty twenty four D twenty three collecting uh, collectors set. Collector set. Yeah. So D twenty three. 2024 collector set. You get six cards in there, and the first one is of which the same card that was released in 2022, but now this is a full foil enchanted card. Whereas the, the first one, the Mickey uh, Mouse, you're yeah, talking about, that was about. just yeah. a regular um, non foil card. And this is not your only box of this. Me and Karn bought a handful. Yeah, you guys bought bought a few of them, huh? A few. Uh, a few. A few. We'll just okay. leave it at that. We'll, we'll leave it at that. But you guys are, I guess you guys are all in on this, huh? This, yeah, uh, it kind of makes sense because uh, if Car and I were talking, if we kind of do the math, uh, the initial <coughs> Mickey Mouse, I think the print run was like ten thousand, um, and those were selling for like a thousand dollars each. Mm -hmm. uh, now, if we kind of say this has like fifty thousand, mm -hmm. a box for a hundred dollars is kind of like a no-brainer. If you can get them retail, well, and you can't get these retail anymore, they sold out pretty quick. This, uh, uh, well, maybe not. In yeah, they're still Paris. Yeah, and they're <laughs> London. <laughs> but. Paris, London. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So we had a couple people in. Uh, uh, good. Well, I got my manager for, from Kingsguard because he he knows a lot of our staff. So mm -hmm. I told him yeah, we got to get some of these boxes. Mm -hmm. So he reached out to everyone that has ever worked for us. Oh, okay. And uh, found some people in London. Found some people <laughs> all over the world. Okay. And he sent them out, mm. and uh, we got some more boxes at retail. Nice. Nice. That's amazing. Yeah. Were you planning on opening this? We can open one, yeah. We can open one? Yeah, let's do oh, it. Oh, let's do it, man. Let's open it. That's we got a blade? Uh, we got a key. What well, key work? Key should work. We should be more prepared about this. I didn't think you were going <laughs> to say yes about opening it, to be honest. I, I got it. You, oh, you got it? We're okay. still going to need a blade, though. Yeah. That's taped up. 
Um, all right, uh, Derek will grab the. We'll we'll grab the PSA blade afterwards. Are you, oh, you're gonna. Oh, you're gonna grade them all. I guess Might that makes well. sense. That Might makes sense. Hmm. Well. Look at that box. You want to do the honors? I've already opened too many of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I won't say no to that. Thank you, Derek. Watch me cut myself on camera now in front of everybody. We'll do an unveiling afterwards, a reveal. A reveal of the pay PSA grades? Yeah, exactly. All right. I don't know how I can best show this as I'm doing this, but. You got both sides? Oh, it's a quad, it's a quad tape situation. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was just one piece of tape. No, it's four. All right, and it just slides out like. Yep. Which way? Either way, I think. Either way. There we go. Ooh. Okay. They look so beautiful in person. I'm gonna try to open it like this. I don't know if you guys can see this. How much did they retail for? Ninety-nine dollars. U.S. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Oh wow. This just. Oh, they're just in there just like that. Just like that. It's oh, like, that's going to be tough graded uh, then, huh? Well, this is all hopefully. They look pretty secure, but I don't want to move it around too much now, but I don't know what the best way. But these are all enchanted foil looking cards in here. It looks pretty nice. Yeah. Look at that. Check that out. Give it to Derek to check so it out. So just like too. in 2022, where they had six cards, that was a set, yeah. and they had the Mickey Mouse by itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, this year as well, same thing. So there's six cards, and mm -hmm. then there's plus there's a Mickey Mouse um, Playful Sorcerer card. Oh, so yeah, there's yeah, seven. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so that. that one was only given out at the, the D23 Expo. Mm. This one you can kind of That purchase. one is not hollow. That one's also... Is uh, that one's foil, but not full enchanted. Not enchanted, okay. Yeah. Uh, that one sells for... A, uh, These look pretty clean, man. Paint. I'm just I'm taking a look at them in terms of... Um, oh, first look on condition, and... These edges look good. They look clean. I don't see any of the, uh, you know, sometimes on the corner, yeah, the corner the have the little, little fold chips, up, yeah. little chips. I don't see any of that. Hopefully we got a couple already in a PSA for grading right now. So we'll here you go. Take, get... take a look at your own cards. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been hogging it over should here. Be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good, man. Yeah. That's cool. So that's again, again, that doesn't seem like um, it's not, it's, it's rare collecting, but it's not cheap rare collecting anymore. It's still, on the, still on the low end, yeah. Okay, I guess, I guess oh, well, low end. That's funny. You're calling $100 low end. <laughs> it just tells you that you're a baller. It, it all starts back <laughs> from all the cheap cards that I bought Yeah, that made a good profit. Yeah, yeah. And I kept rolling that. Yeah. So That's good. I yeah. mean, that's good. That's crazy. It's not a lot of money that I'm injecting personally into this because uh, that's really dangerous. Do not highly recommend that. Um, <laughs> Are you just saying that because you know your wife is going to be listening to this? <laughs> no comment on that one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and crypto as well. That kind of helped in the beginning. Okay, that's well, a whole different yeah, story. That's a whole different story. Yeah. And we don't recommend anybody getting into crypto without doing your due diligence. <laughs> just don't just go into No financial it. advice <laughs> here. Yeah, no financial <laughs> advice here. Uh, but Buy yeah. and sell at your own risk. <laughs> <clears throat> that's cool, man. And we didn't even take a look at those Disney dollars you had sitting over there as well. Oh, that's true, yeah. Um, but this is just an example of how I, your collection, and I told other people this too. I think the first podcast we were talking with... Uh, with Derek and I was just saying how Rajdeep I was like he just has like a cool collection of random things yeah. that like nobody else has so this right here is the first is original Walt Disney dollar yeah one of the first ones one of the first ones yeah and you just one day were like yeah you know what I'm gonna buy a Disney dollar um yeah I so saw the story I, behind this? we just came from Disney World uh back in March it was my daughter's uh, second birthday so Ooh. we took her to Disney World <clears throat> and then on our way back I was just kind of looking at again what I always do when I, on my free time what else is there out there? What mm. else is out there that yeah. I want to collect? Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know. I think it was in my feed. eBay just suggested Disney dollars. Oh, so you were oh, so you were inceptioned the idea of wanting this. I yeah. see. I so see. It, it kind of good just job, <laughs> eBay. You got one. You got one. Your marketing works. So it came. So it came up. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna just buy it. And again, these aren't too expensive. They're just like yeah. know, twenty, thirty dollars at most. Uh, but then, one of the main reasons I kind of buy all these little neat things is I kind of set aside everything that mm -hmm. I buy, and eventually just kind of give it to my daughter. And uh, maybe she'll come in, come into the office 50 years from now. I'm like, yo, my dad has all these things. <laughs> what are they worth? Can you guys sell them for us? Uh, uh, yeah, so I just kind of buy and just kind of yeah, set it so aside. That, then, then this is just like the 100th anniversary version of the Disney dollars. So you bought both, yeah. right? With the Steamboat Willie? Yep. Yeah, just some cool stuff. They don't make them anymore. I think they stopped around 2007-ish. So these are a limited resource. 
pretty much. Yeah. So you can't buy. So when you went to Disney, they didn't ask you like, "Do you want to buy some Disney dollars?" No, they didn't. everything is real money now. Everything's real oh, okay, money. Okay, okay, <laughs> all right. Because I remember that was a big thing back in the day. You had to like buy Disney. Oh, is that, is that a thing? Because you couldn't spend regular money there. Oh, I didn't know that. And it was like a, it was like a, you know, I guess their idea was once you've bought the Disney dollars, you're mm-hmm. inclined to spend them. Yeah. Right, so like you're if you're not gonna leave like fifty Disney dollars yeah. left over, you're gonna spend. That you can tran- you can't like exchange them for real. They probably you probably could yeah. exchange them back somehow, but okay. they probably made the process like no. difficult. You know, yeah. it's just it's like an arcade. Yeah, the reason why you use tokens is because once you bought the tokens, arcades made money. Exactly, they don't yeah. care anymore. Right, it was on the news. Uh, Starbucks, I think, has like two billion dollars worth of unused uh, gift cards. It's oh, just damn. kind of put that into perspective. Yeah, so I yeah. think that's probably. A- that's a wise it's, idea. Yeah, it's a wise idea. But then I think I don't know. I don't know why they stopped. I mean, it seemed like a smart idea, but I guess. <laughs> I think COVID probably actually we know it was 2007 so COVID had nothing to do with it no no yeah idea. I don't know the obviously the marketing heads at Disney have a <laughs> have, a, uh, have a better idea of what's what works well, and what, what does it more than, exactly. than we do here but that's uh that's them um well good on Disney too for this Lorcan stuff man it's blowing up yep that's good stuff yeah I mean well there was just one other thing I think uh we but we've kind of talked a lot about the Matthews yeah, um and these are just this is just this do you yeah. want to keep a secret? It's, oh. it's downhill. Well, oh, okay. yeah, we'll, just we'll keep, we'll keep we'll that, we'll keep that a secret. <laughs> we'll hide that one. Okay. Maybe the next podcast. Maybe the next one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Something, a little <laughs> cliffhanger for people to, to, to sit out on and listen yeah. to. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh, it was nice catching up with you. Um, like, how's, how's it been at the office? Like, now that you're here, like, full-time. Almost not, not full-time, but you're here quite often. Quite often, yeah. yeah you're yeah. here for hours now. Yeah, no, it's it's good. It's kind of kind of feels like family, kind of mm. a little different from my usual job mm-hmm. uh a little change is always nice uh i love i love everyone in the office everyone has uh great ideas so like i'm business minded mm-hmm. so whenever anyone wants to talk business or has a startup or is starting a business i'm all for it because mm-hmm. i know how it feels like yeah. having started a business myself yeah. um i'm always uh, after the, n- the up and coming hmm. and uh, there's this isn't the first time where i kind of started helping a startup company there's been a handful, a couple we won't talk about, but mm-hmm. Karn and I have uh, have the same type of interests, mm-hmm. and uh, not all companies kind of succeed. Mm. Some kind of fall under and kind of bury themselves. Yeah. Um, but King, uh, Slab Sharks has definitely potential. Yeah, yeah. I which mean, which is why I'm still showing. sticking around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's why. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, it's true, though. It's true. It is true. Um, yeah, no, it's good to have you, man. Your ideas are always good. Your help is always appreciated. That's it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's pretty, That's much, pretty it. much it. There's not much no, else like, you could say, right? No, like uh, <laughs> where we where we are at now. Um, I think it's just the beginning. Like all those things oh, that yeah. we discuss. Obviously, mm-hmm. we're not going to disclose and discuss mm-hmm. in detail what we have uh, planned and what potentially might happen. Um, all that kind of stuff kind of keeps me going, right? Oh, yeah. um, and uh, and now that I'm involved in security, I'm working here with Slab Sharks. Um, there's a little collab going on as well where. Uh, like we discussed earlier, now more shows are going to need security. So it's kind of you help me, I help you type of thing mm-hmm, as well. Mm-hmm. Um, at the end of the day, everyone wins, right? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, why wouldn't you want to be a part of that uh, type of environment mm-hmm. well, that kind of helps so, uh, one another succeed? Yeah, it's exciting, man. The future is going to is only looking brighter and brighter yeah. every day. New office is what I'm looking forward to. New office is going to be crazy. Three times the size? Three times, m- more than three times the size. Yeah. Uh, but about let's say about three times we don't get but there's about yeah. three times the size but it's we're doing it up nice yeah it's gonna be I'm so excited secured by Kingsguard so excited for, for sure. all of you guys to see it too and it will be secured by Kingsguard for yeah, sure exactly hundred percent we're gonna have like those uh, we're gonna have cameras everywhere we're gonna have the um, the face recognition the person yeah. of interest cameras we, we, and stuff. We, we might actually have something similar to set up at the, the next CSE show as well we yeah, yeah. that's right the, well that's the the baby Megatron you're gonna bring there right uh, yeah baby Megatron and then we're gonna have something different. Actually, you know what? The baby Megatron is going to be there as well, but then there's an, uh, another new add-on as well. Okay. Um, but again, again, another pilot program. We're going to just test it out, mm-hmm. see how it goes. But uh, uh, all in preparations for the expo coming in. Is that going to be in November? Um, you got me off guard now. I don't know when the exact dates are right but, now, yeah. but it's usually yeah. around that time. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to be uh, kind of fully launching this whole security thing mm-hmm. um, in the coming months. I'm so. excited. I'm excited. Big things coming, man. Big things coming. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for thanks for stopping by. Thanks for joining me on the podcast. Finally got you on. We were trying to do this for a little for the longest while. time. Yeah. yeah, we finally found a, a time that worked for both of us. And uh, yeah, just happy to have you here. Happy to everybody get to finally meet you and uh, see who you are. And 
Thanks for showing us your stuff. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate yeah, it. Of course, man. All right. All right. Take care, guys. Take care.